15 minutes guys, that's all you need to make my amazing sweet tangy and Chinese spiced plum sauce. Okay, first of all the plums. So you want to find the plums, in Australia we call them blood plums, um, I've seen them called red plums, black plums. Basically the flesh inside should be red. And we're going to get these straight into a saucepan. I'm going to cut them over the saucepan so I catch any of the juice and see that beautiful red color. Now if you want to be all like fine dining about this, you could peel the plums. Uh, I don't mind having a little bit of a, a rustic kind of finish to my sauce because then people know that it was actually homemade, which is always nice. But feel free to peel those plums if you want a sauce that is, I guess, a little bit more refined. So I have made this sauce before with plums that were not this red color that had the yellow flesh. And I just added a little bit of beetroot powder for some color and that actually worked out quite good. So there's an option there for you. Now to add a little bit more oomph and some extra concentrated flavor, I'm actually gonna use some prunes. Now prunes are simply dried plums, but that dried fruit concentration adds a really nice flavor here and it helps to thicken the sauce as well, which is really good. So I've had them soaking in some hot water for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the prunes and the water into the saucepan and then I want some sugar as well some apple cider vinegar. Now, to give us all our Chinese flavors and characters for this sauce, I'm gonna start off with some ginger, and I'm just gonna roughly peel this with a spoon. Take that skin off, just want a few slices. Now, some garlic, and I just wanna infuse the sauce with a little bit of garlic flavor. I don't want it to be too garlicky. And now for some spices. So I've got star anise and a cinnamon stick. Now just remember how many pieces you're putting in here because you're gonna have to pull them out later. So uh, you wanna, you don't wanna lose a random piece of star anise in there. Okay, and I'm also using some Chinese five spice. This is my homemade version. You can find the recipe for this on my YouTube channel, but you know, store-bought's fine as well. I um, we want a good dash of that. And then we just get this simmering. It's as simple as that. Whether you call this duck sauce if you're in the US or plum sauce in Australia, I love that this is a condiment that's so quick to make. So you could use this as a dipping sauce for spring rolls, fried wontons, a sauce for grilled duck, grilled chicken, fried chicken, anywhere you want a little bit of a sweet and tangy Chinese condiment flavor. Okay, now after 10 minutes, our plums are lusciously soft, beautifully tender. I'm gonna take out some of those flavorings that we no longer need. Garlic, ginger, cinnamon stick, star anise. I'm gonna transfer this lovely mix into a blender and just blend until smooth. Now pour that out into a clean saucepan. Oh, and look at that amazing color. Now this is where you need to do a little bit of adjusting. So I'm just gonna taste this to see if we need some salt. And I am gonna add a little bit of salt. Mm, yum, do you know what I love about this homemade plum sauce is you can really taste the plums, you can really taste those spices. Now, one final adjustment you might need to make, and I actually have some potato starch here dissolved in some water ready to go, but depending on how juicy your plums are, you might need to thicken the sauce a little, but I'm looking at this and it's a very thick consistency, so I'm not gonna add any, but if you feel like it's a little too thin or runny for your liking, just add a little bit of potato starch or corn flour that's been mixed with some water. Okay, and just a couple of more minutes to let that salt really do its work in there, simmering away. And we are done, ready to pour these out into jars.